Hey guys, how you doing? Cheap Chinese radios. Are they good? Are they bad? What do you think? Hey guys, this is Tony, KE8CDD. Um, as a new ham, uh, the question that I always had was, what radio should I get? Um, which radio is the best? That I, I must have talked to, a, you know, a, every ham I could get my hand, you know, I could get in front of, and uh, to uh, Tony question him about what radio is good, what radio is bad. Um, best thing I can say is do your own research, but best thing to do is buy whatever you can afford. I couldn't afford, uh, when I first started out, I could not afford these big, big radios, these ICOMs, the Yezus and the, uh, the Kenwoods, and, and uh, so I had to opt out, I had to opt for uh, uh, a Bofang, that was my very first radio, it was a two meter little HT radio, that's what got me on the air, um, but I have uh, uh, grown since then, and I have the ICOMs, and I went the ICOM route, but I picked up this radio, the QIT 8900 KT 8900R. Uh, I'm going to do a I'm going to do a quick unboxing, and I'm going to go over the features and what I like and what I don't like about it. But for a uh, inexpensive radio, this is the, this might be your uh, new ham's way to go. Anyway, let's get to it. All right, here we go. The unboxing. I'm going to do an unboxing of the KT 800. Or I'm sorry, 8900R. 8, Okay, here we go. All right, um, this is the uh, QIT KT8900R. Um, this is basically the uh, radio front face. It's a pretty small little radio. I mean, it's not very big, but it doesn't take up much real estate in the car when you have it out. I got it set up. To be either a mobile or a portable, and I got it power. I got it powered right now by my uh, my uh, portable power box, which is uh, solar. I can recharge solar or by any any way I need to, um, either like a you know like a chart in-house charger or you know by the sunlight. But yeah, this is a, a neat little radio. It's small in size, as you can see. So. The um, it, it makes a great portable radio. Um, I got this set up for. Uh, I bought this mainly for pulling in and out of my car because I don't like leaving uh, a radio inside my car. I had my Icom 5100 in the car, and and the head mounted on the top of the dash, and it was in plain view of whoever wanted to break in the car and take it. This radio. If they want to break in and take it, that's fine. I don't care. It's a cheap $75 radio. Um, it's also uh, small, like I said, small, and it and it tucks right into my dash where it's almost impossible to see if the radio's off. Um, but that's pretty much the reason why I bought it, uh, mainly for the uh, the uh, at the mobile and the portable applications. The uh, the power box that I have powering it right now is uh, I can take this on a field day. And uh, set up the power with my uh, solar power, pan my solar panels, and uh, actually power the radio via the box. And uh, I have a uh, a tripod mount and a antenna that I can use for, you know, you know that I keep in my car if I want to go portable. I can pull it out of my car, set up the antenna, set up the power box, and boom, I'm on anywhere I need to be. With that said, uh, let's get into uh, checking out this radio. Let's dive down all right let's power this bad boy up the power button is this little button right here this is the volume knob and this is the channel select knob you just spin this and this selects your channels hit power and on it comes obviously the power light and whenever you try to transmit, the little transmit light will come on. This is like your Bofangs. You got your standby color blue or purple. It's coming across blue in the camera, but it's uh, purple at the, from the you know if you look at it with your eyes. When you transmit, KE8 CDD testing testing. You see that it transmits uh, the uh, yellow or the orange, and then the standby. And when you receive, it turns blue. Uh, KE8 CDD uh, testing. Uh, anybody on frequency?
All right, nobody's on frequency. Anyway, uh, KE8CD clear. So anyway, that's uh, basically uh, the colors. Um, you can select these are I got this in memory mode, and as you can see, as I scroll, I can scroll through all my memory my programmed channels, and I programmed this radio with Chirp, the free software that you can get from uh, Mickler or Micklore.com, and uh, it's a really cool, it's a really neat little setup. I like uh, Chirp. Um, so uh, basically, function acts as menu. So all your menu selections, you can dial with this little button right here if you want to set your uh, CTCS receive right here and your uh, transmit CTCS, which is your your tone squelch. And this is your A B switch. Switch up. See, receiver's in blue. That's, I believe that's uh, 443.1. That is, uh, I think, Northfield, our Northfield repeater here in the uh, Detroit metro area. Uh, this is a 25 watt radio on. This is a 25 watt radio on uh, 2 meter and 20 watt radio on 440 and uh, the uh, 200 megahertz uh, range. Overall, I uh, I pretty much like this little uh, this little radio because it, it does what I need. I can get on the air and it's cheap. And I mean, you can't beat seventy five bucks to get on the air with uh, three bands. Like the A B exit switch. If you're in menu mode, this is your exit. This is your power button and your monitor. If you're doing DTMF. And then you you know you hit that dial in your radio or dial in your code and then you hit call. Um, overall, um, I think this is a pretty cool basic radio to get you on the air, especially if you're brand new ham. A brand new ham, you can't beat the price. Versus a uh, Icom 5100 is around 400 to 500 dollars right off the rip. And then if you want to mount it in your car, you got to buy. A mounting bracket then you got to buy and then you know a mobile antenna to put on top of your either way you still got to buy the antenna but then you got to buy the the dash mount kit I mean it's it's uh it's an expense it's it's pretty you know the icoms are or even all the other portable radios they're they're pretty pricey um, for a new ham I, I you know you can't beat these little uh, uh, Chinese radios whether it's a TYT KYT Jayuntai neat little radios well, with that, I will uh, uh, say 73 and have a great day.